Who, who, Drew, who are you, man? Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, Oc? What's up, Oc Nation? I just, uh, I've been watching you for like two, two and a half years. Just honorary Sombrito from San Antonio. Just, you know. Just, oh, you're uh, Sombrito. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. I don't know. I feel like I know a thing or two about sun antics and shit like that. So, <laughs> what do you mean? You know, it's just uh, all the fun and games and shit like that. You know, the playing both sides, the fucking, the fucking dog shit in the streets, to also trying to play the other side in the fucking courts and shit like that. All the like the like the victim card kind of deal. Oh yeah, all that shit. I've been fucking thinking about this shit for a long time because, I mean, when I was a teenager, I used to be woke de woke. At least, like, my grandpa and How shit like that. How old are you now? How old are you now? I'm 25. <laughs> You're yeah. still young as shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying that I'm old or anything, but... <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I mean, so, me and I used to be woke, too. I, I used to be woke. No, it's yeah. normal, you know? No, yeah, exactly. I feel like most people, like, yeah. go through so, that stage. So what made you snap out of it? Just, just being like objective, like about reality and like just looking at shit that's going on outside and like. Was there an instance? Was there a moment? What was your son word moment, man? <laughs> <sighs> let me think. Let me think. Probably like. Fuck. Just growing up, like in a place that, like, not that that wasn't like fully sun saturated. If you get what I mean, like, I would. It wasn't like I was around like a whole lot of other suns. I was mainly around like a whole bunch of like gliders and umbritos and whatnot. And it's just, I never. I just think back, and I just never. When I thought back. When I was around 17, I just never experienced any of that real like racism, like fucking getting chased around, getting called a nigger. Like when I thought about it most of my life, the most times I felt like any type of real racial animosity was between me and other sons and shit. <laughs> that, that was so crazy to me. That was so crazy. I was like, yo. That's crazy. So, so you kind of saw that um, that maybe maybe some people are gunning each other down, not because of the white people, but because they just maybe want to gun each other down. Oh yeah, because nigga, that makes you hard. Like what? <laughs> it makes you hard to catch a body. Like, and most people, a lot of niggas don't even think past that. Like, <laughs> right? It's just, <laughs> it's just like a spur of the moment. You know? Yeah, it's kind of like you know when you get hungry, you get a burger. You know. Right, or a taco like, in your case. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, I fuck chicken fajitas all day. <laughs> but fucking no, yeah, it would so, be so like. So what made what made you hit the link today, dude? Shit, I I've been watching the live streams every fucking day. I wake up early as fuck to like hit cardio and shit in the gym, so I rarely be able to hop in on the live streams like this, but. Tonight I got time and to like I got time tomorrow morning and so I'm just chilling. I don't really care about. Did you hit the yes. like button? <laughs> you know I hit the like button tonight. I had to hit the like button tonight. Do you have yeah, also um, everybody else have the followers? Like don't on, forget that. Do you have followers on on social media? I got Instagram and Facebook. Actually, I uh I be sharing your Facebook. Like I be sharing your videos on Facebook when I get a chance to. I don't be using Facebook a lot these days, but yeah. I was sharing your videos a lot because my grandpa, he would post like super woke shit on there too. So I would have to counteract with an odd video every time I'd see some woke shit. It's so Luke, man. Yeah, he doesn't Let's post see that some... much woke shit anymore. You, well, one, one last question, Chief, and I'll shut up at this. One last question. So, okay. you know, um, what are you, any, any thoughts on like the um, Brito side of you? Like any, like any criticism, any like compliments, any thoughts on the um, Brito side? Anything at all, and then I'll shut up. Here's what I'll say about Umbritos. Umbritos keep it real too, but I'll also say, I feel like Umbritos try their damn hardest to catch up to the sun niggas over here, bro. It's <laughs> in America. Damn. I, they, they, I feel like they try their hardest, especially when I um 
when I think about just last week, it was actually here in San Antonio. Um, you covered this case, Ock. It's the, those two teenage um, burritos. They uh, shot up the wrong house or something like that. Um, and I think they like killed a lady or something. <laughs> yeah. I just mm. look at shit like that. I'm just like, I feel like that's just prime son behavior, but just coming from umbritos and then right, uh, right. you hear Mike? We we uh we're gonna catch up to you soon, Chief. <laughs> hey, hey, Don't y'all trying. Us. You're trying. <laughs> yo, yo, Chief, we almost there. We're like <laughs> neck and neck with the some people. Let me you let me see me? what let me see if this guy's really telling the truth about what's going on in San Antonio because I know San Antonio has a has a very mm. diverse population, man. A recent streak of violent crimes across San Antonio has left multiple people dead. San Antonio police are still investigating after four men were shot and killed in two separate shootings happening just blocks apart. This comes after seven people were shot and two killed last month at a family barbecue. Ken's Five reporter Vanessa Croy talked Uh-oh. to San Antonio's top officer about what's driving this recent trend. Vanessa? Well, EC San Antonio Police Chief William McManus says his detectives are working around the clock to solve these crimes. And while they're making arrests, a troubling trend is adding to their caseload. Accused criminals, some out on bond, keep ending up back on the streets. <laughs> Seven shot, two dead. In the last story. weeks, over two dozen people were killed in violent crimes on the streets of San Antonio. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah. a classic San Antonio broad on the left, right there. Damn, yeah, I was about to this. He does say, I heard that, yeah. he said the thing I yeah. said, women down there, man. <laughs> he ain't lying, bro. He ain't lying. Yeah, <laughs> y'all got y'all got them good, uh, that good food over there. Like, oh, man. yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, so they got the, this is the hot crime cheetos. scene. This is what a crime scene looks like in San Antonio. Is is this yeah. what a typical crime scene looks like? Yeah, usually. See, the thing about San Antonio is uh, we got the east side. The east side is uh, Sun Central. That That's what it's known as. There's a neighborhood over there actually called Sunrise, in fact, in the, <laughs> a.k.a. Gunrise, actually. That's no joke. Damn. That's what they call it. Damn, <laughs> I bet they do. Yeah, that's what they call it. And But the thing about San Antonio is, is that with our highway system, it's super easy just to get all around the city in general. So, you know, shit can like pop up like almost like anywhere, but you know, they stay localized in a certain space. And then once you get more like Southwest, Southeast, that's when you get some more like Umbrito territory and shit like that. But okay. Violent crimes on the streets of San Antonio. People are real quick to pull out a gun, some people and settle it that way. Last week, a 16-year-old was shot and killed at a West Side home. Police say the shooting happened during a 4th of July party. Two other teens were seriously hurt. Oh, and last month, four people shot. OK, we got the umbrella here. Is See, it, is it a ra- race, race wars over here? Yeah, there'd be a little bit of that. There'd be a little bit of racial animosity, yeah. Between but whites really... and uh, between whites and blacks, whites chasing? <laughs> is that you know even <laughs> That's not, even a question. <laughs> That's not even a question. So it's the white, the whites are the whites are shooting the black people. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Who's the racial animosity? It, the umbr- the umbritos in the in the suns, my man. If, oh, yeah, okay. If, yeah, yeah, if, if there's any, if there's any that, that but, goes down but, like that. But they're not they're not even really <laughs> shooting at each other, are they? They're not really into it, right? Or are they? I don't know. Um, no, yeah, it's <laughs> they. When it comes to gang shit, I I I don't know about that too much. But I mean, when it comes to just thug street violence, like nah, like you know, they'll they'll take racial grounds like that sometimes. Mm. Party. Two other teens were seriously hurt. And last month, four people shot, one killed when someone opened fire at a Northside bar after an argument in the parking lot. We asked San Antonio Police Chief William McManus what's driving this surge in violent crimes. Our altercations, arguments, errant looks, perceived slights. There's no fear of consequence. So he said they asked him what was driving. They, 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 They squarely asked him 
what's driving it? And he said this. But yeah, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus, what's driving this surge in violent crimes? Are altercations, arguments, errant looks, perceived slights. <laughs> arguments, <laughs> errant looks. So that means like you're looking and someone thinks that you're looking at them or you may be looking at them. Right. Looks. Right. Now you got to shoot them. He said perceived slight. He didn't say slight. <laughs> yeah, perceived. He said perceived right. slights. And he would know better than anybody. He's the police chief. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus. What's driving this surge in violent crimes? Are altercations, arguments, errant looks, perceived slights. There's no fear of consequence, no concern for the sanctity of life. People are real quick to pull out a gun to set on argument or set on altercation. And that's what I see happening across the city. That's what we see. Mm. Who who behaves like that, man? The gliders. <laughs> yeah, the gliders. Those, the gliders. It, those damn tigers, man. Those damn yeah, tigers. tigers yeah, those hidden tigers, yeah. man. You all watch out. Wow, I mean, that's crazy, man. I, it's not like a blood feud. It's not drug a drug war. It's not Aaron. It's, <laughs> it's it's worse than that. It's something be sound drama. It gets <laughs> real in the field. Oh yeah. So, you would think it would be like you know um, human trafficking rings, fentanyl. Cartels, right. Right, um, right. turf wars. No, it's nothing like that. It's just, you know. Mm. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus, what's driving this surge in violent crimes? Are altercations, arguments, errant looks, perceived slights. There's no fear of consequence, no concern for the sanctity of life. People are real quick to pull out a gun to set on argument or set on altercation. And that's what I see happening across the city. That's what we see happening across the city. San Antonio police reported 130 homicides across the city in 2020. A year later, that number goes up to 161. So how do you put an end to that? That's a good question. That's a good question. We do what we can do on our end by arresting people. Uh, and then from that point, the criminal justice system, the other parts of the criminal justice system take over. And according to the chief, another disturbing trend. So we've got people that were arresting and rearresting and rearresting again. According to SAPD data, 84 people were arrested last year on murder charges. 61 of those suspects had been previously convicted of a violent crime. 15 had been out on bond at the time of the murder. We've made a lot of arrests. We are but one part of the criminal justice system and that's where we stop. We make the arrest, we investigate further, we testify in court beyond that, we don't go any further. I, I, I really don't know what the solution is. That was right if there? I did, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be seeing this across the city. Um, 